In this video, I'm going to show you how to create hierarchy inside a Smartsheet. Hierarchy is good to understand because it allows us to create parent-child relationships inside of Smartsheet, and it really makes organization very convenient for us because it allows us to expand and collapse rows uh, based on just different parent child relationships that you want to create. So uh, maybe it could be marketing departments or it could be assets that you contain or anything like that. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Imagine for a moment um, that we are creating a sheet and we need to have some type of hierarchy in here and we'll just use food as an example. So let's say that our main thing that we're talking about here is food, right? So we're going to put food in our primary column. Now under that food, there are different types of food that you uh, have. So, you know, there's desserts and there's snacks and there's seafood and all these different things. So let's go ahead and let's um, type in some different information. So let's say that we have snacks, we have desserts, we have breakfast, and let's say we have dinners, right? And we want to put this information under the food category because it all kind of goes together. They, they're all classified together. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's click on this. So we're going to left click on snacks and we're going to go up to the top and we're going to hit the indent button. When you select that button, a couple of things happen. First of all, you can see that it's indented, so it's not in line with the rest of the text anymore. And you can see the little minus sign has been added next to the word food. That is because food is now a parent of snacks. Snacks is a child and food is a parent and you've created hierarchy inside of Smartsheet already. If you hit that minus button, it's going to collapse snacks. We won't see it anymore because it's a part of that group that we've created. So if we hit the plus button, it will open that back up. So if we go down to des desserts and we select that and we hit the end it button, now when we collapse food, it's going to collapse both of those. You can also click and you can shift click or command or control click and select multiple options and hit end it. And now it has put all four of them in that group for us. So this is how we create parent-child relationships inside a smart sheet. This is how you create hierarchy, and it's a great way to organize the data. Now, there is no limitation to how many indents you can have, so we can put as many things in here that we want to. So let's go ahead and let's say under snacks, um, we're going to click on the row menu, and then we're going to click insert below, and that's going to insert another row, and let's insert maybe three rows here for us. So we can do that, and under snacks, Let's put some snacks that we might have. So we could put maybe um, a salad could be a snack and we could say chips could be a, a snack and let's just say vegetables could be a snack. Now we can create these as children of our snacks parent. So if we select this first one and we hit shift and you can click with your mouse or I hit the down button on my keypad here and it will select all of those and I hit the indent button and now you can see that these are indented and they become children of the snacks parent. So if I hit the collapse button under snacks, that goes away. And if I hit it under food, it hides all of them again. So you can start seeing the hierarchy relationship that we have inside of Smartsheet. And there, again, is no limitations to how many indents and outdents you want. Now, let's just say, for instance, that we didn't want to have... Uh, you know, salad or chips and vegetables as part of our snacks, we can select those. And if you go to the outdent button, it will bring them back. And now they're all just listed under food. So we'll select those again and we will indent those. So we could do this as many times as we want. So for instance, just to show some more, we can insert a couple more under desserts and we can put say ice cream, cheesecake, and uh, what would be maybe a pastry, right? And then we can select these and indent those. And now these are children of desserts. So we can hide desserts, we can hide snacks, and we can hide food and it hides everything. So pretty simple, but it's pretty powerful. Um, once you start filling out data, so for instance, um, we have salad and let's say that we have, um, we can put low carb, oops, we can type low carbs 
and we can you know put any information that we uh, want into um, low protein or you know whatever when we hide those it will hide that information for us too so that's really convenient because as you begin populating information inside of Smartsheet, um, you can use these to collapse different things. Maybe these are departments of your organization. So you have your main organization here, and then let's say you had your marketing department, you had your you know R and D department, you had sales, uh, customer service. You could actually hide these different departments and the tasks that they're working on, and it makes it very convenient for you to stay organized inside of Smartsheet um, by using Hierarchy.